it's so sad that we're never going to be able to see what that greatness could have been, bro. That's that's the saddest part to me. <laughs> Oh, you didn't, bro. Bill After interviewed The Undertaker. Nice. He said this about Bray Wyatt. He also said that he would never reveal what he whispered at Bray at Raw 30. I, I thought That's he already did that in another interview. I thought he already told that before. But He said a lot of things are very cookie cutter within the wrestling community and the sports entertainment industry. And everyone wants to do the same thing. He was not that guy. He looked at things with a different perspective and wasn't afraid to try things. Even when people would say, I don't know about that. He had that conviction within himself that he knew he could make it work. And it's so sad. Now, uh, as far as what he told Bray Wyatt, he said, no. He said that was between Bray and I. It was a moment that we exchanged. And now with them passing, it needs to stay between us. Uh, Vince Russo, what do you, what do you think about uh, Taker's comments uh, regarding Bray Wyatt? Yeah, bro, th th bro, them saying, I don't know about that is is them saying, I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, bro, because listen, EC3 knew him and they had a relationship. I did not know him, but bro, I could tell his level of intelligence was just, they, they, they didn't understand him, bro, mm -hmm. because his brain was working on a different level. Yeah. So when they say, I don't know about that, that means I don't understand that, bro. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, uh, well, but it's just, it's, it's so sad that we're never going to be able to see what that greatness could have been, bro. That's, that's the saddest part to me. But EC3 knew him personally, yeah, bro. I mean, so. dude, it's like, it's like Hendrix, you know? Mm -hmm. You saw enough to know that something amazing was taking place. Yeah. And then it just, you know, yeah. cut yeah. short. So, yeah, the fact, like, knowing him because we came up together and, like, I'll wax poetic about Wyndham any chance I get, and I've done it plenty of times. Like, that's one thing. But the ultimate peer, like, the guy that, like, dictates and judges character and talent in the locker room, for the longest time seeing that it's good yeah yeah indeed yeah i appreciate the, the respect that taker has uh for for bray um I, I think it's one of those things that you know they even had a wrestlemania match against each other so clearly there's something there that he was willing to to, to put stock in bray you know i mean to give him that, that wrestlemania undertaker rub so you know, uh, he uh, sprained his ankle before that match yeah he did yep uh, not like you can go back and like what could have been, but at the same yeah. time, it's like, man, when you have huge moments and like something like that derails it, like pulling it off is a miracle in a sense, but pulling it off well, like, yeah, there were rumors that uh, there was a chance that for him not to be in the match, and I think Sheamus was ready, like backstage, to like uh, compete against Taker at that WrestleMania. So, yeah, that was somebody he came out and. Uh, it was it was you know successful as as much as it could be and, and, and that's the cool, that's the cool thing about characters man I talk about this all the time you, you and I Vince we talk about this all the time and EC three you know with you with your with your mind you're you're right with that you don't have to spend so much time as the catch as catch can causing people to pop from moves and all that once your when when your character is so strong you don't have to spend so much time doing that you know what I mean like. It's easy for Bray to do the, you know, the, the 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 upside down type of, you know, curly spider like, you know, what I mean, type of type of gimmick. That that it, it doesn't need to do a moonsault for that. You know, that that does that has more pop than you know a, a four fifty. You know, what I mean, as far right. as building character. So. Every 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 time. Yeah. That's why I just like to guys that can do those amazing things. Like, imagine if you combine the two. Yeah. That is greatness, man. Like, just not looking at it so one-dimensional. And, yeah. like, there's, I mean, Taker's one of the all-time workhorses of the industry. 
And like he went as a character for so long where he's probably like, I'm a better worker than this, but I can't show it because of the mm-hmm. character. So luckily he was able to, but like you watch 2006 Taker, the guy, he's probably like 45 at the time, and the guy's in tip top ring shape, mobility and everything. So yeah. Yeah. combine them both. Yep, indeed.